What's up guys, Amy here. Now since I made my Groove Mail part one and part two tutorial, I noticed the same questions kept popping up in regards to troubleshooting Groove Mail. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four Groove Mail troubleshooting hacks. Now before we dive into solutions, I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit on that like button for me while you're watching this video because it does take a lot of time to plan and make these videos so that they are clear and easy to follow. One last thing guys, these are just temporary bugs and chances are that by the time you watch this video, it could be totally redundant as GrooveMail goes through even more updates. Okay, GrooveMail troubleshooting number one. You're not receiving any emails after you've done your test opt-in on your own GrooveMail form or you're not receiving welcome emails. So it's most likely you haven't got your sender identity verified. You will need to head to GrooveMail, click on settings over here, senders under the column verified that needs to go from a no to a yes so check out part one of my groove mail tutorial and watch from the timestamp of one minute and 33 seconds in you'll see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this up now remember the moment you created your new sender email you need to go to your inbox and look for an emails from groove funnels with the subject headline of email verification once you open up that email you need to click on this verify button as soon as possible since there seems to be a time expiry period. Group mail troubleshooting number two, you can't seem to get your sender verified status from a no to a yes even though you followed through the steps in troubleshooting number one. Chances are you did set it up correctly but left it too long to click on that verification email. So the first thing you need to do is to delete existing sender details by going here and then clicking on delete. The next step is emptying your cache and a hard reload. You will do that by right clicking and clicking on inspect. Head up to the refresh button, click on it and hold on it. Then you will see empty cache and hard reload. You will need to click on that. Once that's done, you need to go back and add a new sender. Go back through all these details again. This will send you a new verification email from GrooveFunnels. Click on that verify button link as soon as you can and this usually works straight away, so give it 10 minutes or so. Group mail troubleshooting number three, changing the button color and text on your opt-in form like this. So once you created your opt-in forms, you would go and grab the raw HTML code of that form. So we'll go ahead and click on the free anabolic meal plan form. Click on this, get code. You wanna select the raw HTML code, click next, copy that up a notepad, paste in your code. I'm going to increase it so that you can see it. To change the button color, you're going to type in a control F on your notepad and type in open angle bracket button and you'll see it highlighted down here. Now after you've found it, enter a space here right after the button. So enter a space and then I'd like you to paste in this code, background color and whatever that code is. So that is the code that you'll paste in and I'm going to leave a link in the description area for you to copy that. Once you've pasted that in, make sure there's a space in between that and the primary text here. Now over here in the hash symbol, this is going to be where you enter in the hex code of the button color. So you can find the hex code of green, for example. This is the hex code for button color of green and then you'll enter it in here. Now to change the button text, you want to go right down here, right in this section. This is where you can change the call to action button text. So we can change this to replace text here. And then now that you're done, just copy all of that, head into Groove Pages. Now my opt-in form is through a pop-up. So I'm going to click on pop-up and click on edit. And this here is the opt-in form with a pink button. Click on this cogwheel icon, delete the old opt-in form paste in my new form. I'll enter space and then press save. And you can see here that I've got first name, email, and it says replace text here. I'll click on save, save again. I'm going to preview it and I'll click on this. And you can see here, first name, email, and the button has changed to green and replace the text here. 
Groove Mail Troubleshooting number four, formatting your email copy. So what I've done is open up our email sequence and over here, I've got some placeholder copy in an email. On first impression, the email formatting looks okay, right? It looks like it's got some height spacing between each sentences. What I'd like you to do is click on view HTML, copy all of that, head to a website called html5-editor.net and then I want you to paste in that HTML code for your email copy on the left hand column. If you look over here, this is what you see is what you get editor and there's some big spacing in between because it's line breaks. So what I want to do is just edit over on the right side and remove all these extra gaps that I can see here. And now here's the cool part. I can add emojis. So I'm just going to go over here, add an emoji over here pull it back. There you go. Your prospects have a problem. Now to add a button, there is no button functionality yet. But in the meantime, what you can do is upload an image of a click here button onto Groove Pages. So I'll show you an example. What I did was go to Groove Pages, uploaded an image. And once it's loaded here, I right click, open image in a new tab. I'm going to go to the browser, copy in that URL, and then I'm going to head back to the HTML editor. And then down here, let's say I want to place a button image. I can insert image. And because you can't upload straight to this particular website, you need to provide a source URL for the image. So I'm just going to paste in the click here image that I've uploaded onto group pages, click OK, and the image has appeared. And then if I wanted to, I can go here and hyperlink it to a uh, domain. So let's just enter in google.com for now and press OK. So what you've got here is a formatted email with emojis and a click here button. We can even make it smaller and shrink it over here. And once you, everything looks good, the code is already written out for you over here. So you just go back to the left hand corner, copy all of this, head back to your Groove Mail and then make sure that it's still switched over to view HTML. We're going to delete all of this and then paste in the code that we've got, switch it back here. And you can see here that it's got the button and the emoji, and then you can press on update, head back here, press save, which means if you do this for all your email sequences, your emails should be formatted nicely with emojis and buttons for the time being because GrooveMail doesn't have um, buttons right now. All right, guys, I hope that helps. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button for me. Now, leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Share this video to anyone who might need help with GrooveMail. And until next time, see ya.